Welcome to the Skiff Club. Uh, race five has just finished and our runaway winner, I usually say, got to love at seven after that part of the phrase this time, but it's not, it's Fellow Fisher. Great work, lads. <laughs> Thank at you. last, Thank you've you, done good. I know. Tell us what happened, tell us the story, Michael. Well, I guess we can start off by, um, I, yesterday afternoon, Cocky K said, he said, I need to change my cereal. So I did that. He said wheat bix and banana. So I went and got a pack of wheat bix this morning, tried that. Yep. And then, um, and lovely uh, Shirley Roach helped me out with about 10 minutes before leaving the beach. I went in and asked for a banana on Greg's instruction and she didn't have any. So she actually went home for me, got a banana off the kitchen table, gave me a banana at 10 past two. Yeah. I had a shave, so I'm not sure really what it is. So it's, it's a little hard to try and work it out. Cereal, but... banana or a shave. Or a shave. That's your story. Dave, yeah. let's, let's, uh, what's happening in the middle of the boat? What was really happening today? How did you really win? <laughs> well, I think uh, today was just you know, after yesterday, we sort of said we sat down and had a bit of a chat and said, "Look, we need to improve on our communication in the boat and just make sure that we're thinking ahead more." And it helps when we got off the line nicely, just to get clean, and we got a clear, clear lane off the start. And the, the option to tack was crucial. So once we had the option to tack, um, you know, we got our heads out of the boat and. and to Mike's credit, and I think our, our communication, we just didn't really miss a ship. You look solid all day today, but tell me, what does it, did it feel like today with the big seven ship behind you clearly <laughs> coming to the fleet? How much were you actually talking about that on board, honestly? Don't give us um, a... Only the, la only the last beat when um, when the breeze started filling in, well, sorry, they were in the third beat when it filled in from the nor'east, and they just got a little left of us, and they, they obviously gained on the whole fleet there. Um, that wasn't a problem. It was more than the very last beat when it was a drag race up the top mark, and and um, Harry Hydraulics, as Pete Harris calls it, they just you could see it coming, and I guess it plays in your mind. You can just, you know, obviously that, that they would they've got it there, so they'll use it. And you can feel them coming. Them up. Boat speed, and as you're saying, they've got this thing. They've got the only boat in the whole fleet that's using hydraulic rig controls, and you felt yeah. that made a difference today. Well, I mean, that, no, I mean they obviously pick the shifts well but just that last beat when it was a straight liner yeah, yeah. whether it was us whether it was us is getting nervous looking back that was probably more 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 like that'll be but, natural they do yeah. have four bullets in a row but yeah. the point is yeah. they don't have a fifth in a row you guys did the business today mm. great event congratulations great sailing and to reminds a day off isn't it so saturday is the next chance to win another race oh well, that'd be nice yeah a bit more of that would be good good luck mate thanks for your time thank you thanks, and we'll see you back uh, on saturday